Ashley and I'm back with a new video and today we're going to be talking about the new Cricut machine, the Cricut Joy, and I'm joined today by our special guest Kitty. This is a pirate. She's our family cat and she came in for pets so I figured I'd pet her for a second while I start telling you guys about the new machine. So it is available starting March 1st. It is $179.99 and um, you can use your Cricut Access subscription to save 10% off on the machine if you'd like. Um, and Cricut has um, several different types of machines. Um, there's the Cricut Maker, which is the largest machine with interchangeable tools. Um, and it cuts over 300 different materials. There's the Explorer 2, which um, cuts, I believe, over 100 different materials. And then they have the newest Cricut, which is um, the Cricut Joy and I'm really excited to share with you guys um, especially because it is so portable and tiny so I'm going to pick that up real quick. So Cricut sent the Joy to me free to review and also so that I can test it I can give you guys um, some feedback on it and answer your questions and give you guys some different tutorials so that you can see how to work with it and um, if this is the right type of machine for you. Cricut does make different machines, so you know you have to narrow it down by which one is gonna suit your purposes the best. But the cool thing about the Cricut Joy is it is super, super tiny. I know you guys can tell right now just look how tiny this is. I promise it's not a speaker. It looks like one, but it, and it has no buttons, so I can see why you would think that, but it is a little cute cutting machine. Cricut spent five years of development for this so that they could make this um, this tiny and also the tools that are um, involved in this are all smaller um, proportions. It cuts over 50 different materials including most of the most popular materials such as vinyl, um, iron-on, um, vinyl, infusible ink, um, and you can use cardstock, different types of paper, all of that stuff. So. Um, I wanted to spend some time today and walk you guys through um, how to make cards with this because that is one of the coolest features of this machine is that you can do card making and you can do it you know within a couple of minutes so it is something that um, a feature that this machine has that the other machines don't have which is um, a very specific type of ease of use. There are certain materials that are called smart materials that you can use and run through the machine without a mat which makes it um, pretty revolutionary, as well as the new card mat, which makes it so that you can um, create cards um, using pre-made cards, and it makes it super, super fast. So I'm going to show you my first project that I've ever made using this and walk you through, and we can learn together. So hopefully that will be fun. If you're joining me today from my Facebook group, Dollar Tree DIYs and Decor, uh, leave a comment below. I'd love to know where you guys are joining me from today. Um, and if you're not uh, a member of the group, make sure to join and, um, you know, like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step in working with this, um, we need to plug it in. So I plugged in the other side of the um, power adapter to the wall and I'm going to go ahead and plug in to the machine. And the plug for the machine is on the back here. So we're just going to go ahead and plug that in. And as you can see, it lets you know that it is powered. Let me move this cord out of the way. It is quite a long cord, um, so you can, you know, work pretty much wherever you want. Um, I'm multiple feet from the wall right now. This is my workspace here, and my wall is pretty far back. So the cable should work pretty well for that. And then you just open the door. And it has the little tool feature. This is a very small tool in comparison to the other machines. Um, I can give you a, um, a look comparison of all of those as well um, in another video, but this is a very small tool, so you just load that. And perhaps I would say one of the best features about this machine is that it um, that there's a lot of options that it comes with, um, but you can also purchase this little mat here, and this is called um, the card mat. And the neat thing about this one is it's something I haven't seen before, but um, it has it set up to the different sizes, so you can insert different card sizes and then use this as a guide. 
But if you turn it here, you can see there is a sleeve there and it makes it so that you can put your card on top and cut it and it also weeds it for you, which makes it a lot easier. So um, this is supposed to take card cutting time down to probably a few minutes. Um, something that I find a little bit more time consuming with card making is that um, when I make cards, I typically make it on my maker machine. And on the maker machine, you have to use the um, tool to make sure that you have the um, card scored for folding and then you have to draw the design or cut the design and it can take a, a little bit more time because you have to switch between tools that you use. Because this um, is already set up to work with pre-made cards, this makes it a lot faster. So if you're looking for something that's going to be very quick, it's a great way to do it. And here are the card inserts. Um, Cricut has a ton of different um, options for card inserts. They're pre-made cards and then they have little inserts that go in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and show you um, how we load this in so you can understand a little bit better how the little map works. Now we're going to log into our Design Space app and what I'm going to do is choose um, which card I want to make. So there are projects that are specifically made free for the Cricut Joy and with the machine comes a series of cards that are free that you can choose from. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose the I Heart You card here. And then it is, it shows that it's easy, less than 30 minutes. Uh, and then it tells you what finished size it is and what you can use for cutting materials and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and choose which card I want. I love the idea of a little bit of sparkle. Um, as I'm making this, um, it will be Valentine's Day tomorrow, so I thought this would be um, a perfect last minute card idea here because how many times have you been making, you know, has it been a holiday coming up, a birthday coming up, and you've forgotten to make a card? This is such an easy, great way to do it. So I want to have this be the little peekaboo, and this is the regular card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the card, and then I'm going to take them out, and what we are going to do is just lift the sleeve here. Um, there is a protective covering that comes over the top of this. I removed that already um, for working with it. We are going to insert the card into the sleeve here. And then just pop that in. And then make sure that this is um, adhered to the top. So that way, what this does is because this is a sticky top, this will weed the project for us. So it makes it a lot quicker because we don't have to worry about weeding at all. And then what we're going to do is load it into the machine. And I went ahead and chose what material I'm using. So I'm using the card, um, insert cards that already come pre-made. And then it tells you to load whichever tools and mat that you need. This is the fine point blade, of course. And then it just says load the mat when ready. So I'm just going to put this little mat in there. And then what it does is it's already loaded. And I'm going to go ahead and tap go when we're ready to go. And let's see how fast it cuts. Wow, okay, that was really fast. So let's test out the weeding feature here. And it says unload mat. Your cut has completed, unload the mat. So we're gonna press unload, unloads it for us. So instead of having to press buttons, it's all controlled through the application. And let's go ahead and see how the weeding works here for this. So you can use tools for this just to make it easier to pop up, but we're gonna test it without the tools. Okay, so as you can tell, it weeded it for me, which is really nice. 
You could also reuse these pieces on another card if you wanted. It did look like it kept this one, so I'm going to have to weed that one by hand really quick. Okay. So the neat thing about these cards is you can make a card, it will cut it out, and then all you have to do is insert the backing behind it, and it cuts out the little tabs to put um, the paper into as well, which I think is super handy. So this is a great last minute card idea. If you need a card on the fly, just insert the little tabs. Voila, you're done. Easy card. First project that I've ever made with it. So, so easy. I feel like that's really, really beginner friendly. And as you can see, that turned out really well. Looks nice, cute. Um, it also comes with different options inside um, the cards for which color cards you want, what type of finish, um, and it also comes with the envelopes as well. So you can just take an envelope out, write what you want in it, pop it in there, you're ready to go. Handmade card. For the next card, I wanted to test out the pen system here, and the difference between the tools that are in this machine in the Cricut Joy versus the Explorer 2 and the Maker is that um, everything is a kind of a compact size on those. So since this is such a compact size, um, the pens are also com compact size too. And you simply just drop them down into it and you don't have to wait to hear a click or push them down for a click. So that's the main difference when you're gonna be using these ones. But we're gonna go ahead and pick a card and what I'm looking for in the card is something that already has a drawing option. So I'm choosing the tandem bike card because I think that's going to be a perfect fit for what we're looking for because this is also uses the pen and the smart cards here, the insert cards. So I'm going to choose um, the orange background for from this one, which is the finger paint sampler. That's going to be the background color. And then we're going to use the cream card from the Glitz and Glam pack. And we're going to use that there. So what I'm going to do is load my little mat here. Add this in here. And then I'm just push it in and make sure that this is centered where it needs to be. I'll put it off just slightly. The nice thing is it's repositionable in case you make a mistake. And I'm going to go in and click make it on the app. And I'm going to make it, um, there's the option of without a mat for the smart materials, on the mat or on the card mat. And I'm using the on the card mat. So we're going to draw and then cut. So it tells you at the very top of the um, of the app here what we're doing first. So first is the draw and then the cut. So the first thing we're going to do is remove this tool and just set it aside. Add our pen in here. Just drop that. Close it. And I'm going to click continue on the app and it tells me to connect. Okay, so I'm just making so now that the machine is paired with my phone, I'm going to choose which material to use. So I'm going to choose cardstock. And the cardstock is from the insert card. So I chose insert card. And then it tells me to load the black pen and load the matte one ready. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that's loaded. And then it tells me it's ready to go. And I'm just going to click go. Um, one thing to note is if you are purchasing a Cricut Joy as your entry level machine or for portability, that type of thing, you will have to use different tools because the tools are different sizes, the pens are different sizes. So make sure that when you're 
um, choosing materials and tools that you're picking ones that fit the, this machine specifically um, so that way you're not disappointed when it doesn't fit um, because the Cricut Explore Air series and also the Maker use larger tools. Okay, so what we're going to do is load the fine point blade. It tells you on the app. So we're just going to pop that one out. Pop that one in. Close it. And then hit go. While this is cutting, I'll go ahead and show you the difference in the sizing uh, for the pens here. So this is the typical pen that you use for the Cricut Explore Air series and the Maker series. Um, and this is the pen for the Cricut Joy. So you can see there is um, definitely a difference in the way that they function. This one is more compact so that way it doesn't take up as much space and just the way that they are um, put together slightly different. So this is why you would want to make sure to pick items that are labeled specifically for the Cricut Joy if you have a Cricut Joy. Okay. It says that our cut has completed so let's unload the mat. So we're going to click unload. Just pop that out. And the neat thing is this should just pop right out because this has an adhesive so it does the weeding for us. Um, you can use tools as well. I might use my scraper for this or my spatula. Actually, I think I'm going to use my spatula just to make sure it comes off nicely and evenly. I don't want to mess up this card. I have no doubt you could do this with your hands if you wanted to as well. Okay. So that's what it looks like without the insert. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and put the insert in. This is fun too because you can really customize it. So just depends what kind of colors you like and that you think would look good. So that's what the inside of the card will look like. And that is the outside of the card. Very cute, actually. It turned out super cute. Okay, so here is the finished card. I wanted to do a close-up so you guys can see the detail on it because to me, that's the part that I love about um, the machines is that they can draw and write for you. So this is the standard card that comes with the machine. You can add to it, you can customize it. So if you wanted to write somebody's name on here um, or a cute little saying, you can do that as well. Um, but I think it turned out really nice. Look at the, nicely I should say, look at all the details on it. So really beautiful and very, very easy to do. I would say the easiest for sure was this one and I think that's mostly because this one didn't have any writing with it. So if you want just a super quick card where you can get out of the door, you can just cut a design out of it and then just insert this in and you're good to go. Um, but if you want to take a little bit more time, you want to embellish a card, make it cute, um, they do have the options that you can draw on it and it makes it really very detailed and pretty. So I thought it would be fun to test out some of the deluxe paper that Cricut sent over as well. And the deluxe paper is awesome because it is adhesive backed. So this I think will be perfect for card making. Um, they come in a bunch of different colors and styles. This one caught my eye, it's the black and white botanicals. And I thought this would be really pretty for a card. So the design that I found was under the card section of the app. And it's a pattern vinyl. I'll leave a link to it below so you can find it easier. And we'll just customize it. I'm deleting that because I don't need that. I already have the card to work with. Move that. Just want the palm fronds. We're going to click make it on the mat. And we're going to be cutting. So we need to make sure that the cut blade is in. Here the fine point blade is in. And click cut. It's on the mat, the material size, it doesn't need to be mirrored. We're going to click continue. 
make sure that it is connected and we are using a different material. So this has the list of all the commonly used materials here and we are going to be using the deluxe paper. So deluxe paper. So we have the tools loaded correctly and then we're just going to load the mat. And tap go. So when you're loading this, make sure you didn't do a boo-boo like I did and I didn't adhere it closely enough to the mat. So just make sure that you have that front edge all the way down. Didn't ruin it though. So what I'm going to do is unload this. So we just turn this face down. And there we go. I have just a regular plain cream colored card. And what we're gonna do is cut this down to size so that we can go ahead and apply it. Now that this is weeded, let's apply it to the card. What I'm going to do is just peel off the backing very carefully. And then we're going to place it on the card here. I have this Dollar Tree ribbon that I think will be perfect. It is such a pretty light dusty color, so I'm going to do that. Okay, figure out kind of approximately the right size. And then we're going to put some tape on here and then follow through with it. This is double sided tape that I found at Dollar Tree. There we go. So we'll make sure that's adhered and then pull off the backing for it. super pretty and then what I can do is wrap a little piece here on the back kind of like a little tiny piece put that right there and then what you can do is use free check on the end if you're worried about the card fraying or you can just give it a clean cut get it as nice as possible you can also take one of the Dollar Tree wooden um, stickers that they have. This is from the Valentine's collection, and I just thought that would be really pretty. I used double-sided tape from Dollar Tree as well, and just pop that on there. And then you have a really pretty little card. So what did you guys think about the cards? Did you enjoy them today? Um, which kind of card do you think would be the most fun to make? For me, I'm really torn between um, the ease of use of the the little ones here where you can just cut them and go within a few minutes or do the ones that have the the writing and the drawing on them specifically. I think it adds a really um, personal touch having that um, drawn feature on there. Or you could just add in some Dollar Tree materials as well and it just kind of elevates it and it's kind of a fun way to, you know, when you're scouring Dollar Tree, if you see any cute stickers or anything um, that you like to add for embellishments, it just adds to it without the cost. So I really love that. Um, if you are interested in watching some more videos and learning more about the Cricut Joy, let me know what you're here for watching. Are you more interested in the iron-on vinyl? Would you like to see tutorials on infusible ink? Uh, do you want to see tutorials on making 
uh, wall decals? Would you like to see, um, you know, labels for wandering around your house making labels? Let me know. I want to make sure that I can help you guys um, achieve your goals, especially. And I think this is a really great way to do it. So um, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.